Hi everyone, this is Austin with Ecofoil, and with this video, we are going to give you an example of how our product works. Here we are at the stovetop with the burner on and a pan on top of that burner. In my hand, I have our infrared thermometer that I will now use to scan the temperature of the pan. And as you can see, the temperature is going to come back at 150.9 degrees. Now, the heat that I feel coming off of that pan is going to be radiant heat. So, if I were to take our Ecofoil product that I have here and hold it slightly above the pan, it's going to eliminate 96% of that radiant heat that is coming off of the pan and allow only 4% to pass through it. So, what I will do is repeat the same test, only this time I'm going to scan our radiant barrier product and you will see that it's going to come back with a reading of 74.4 degrees. Now since Ecofoil is 96% reflective, it is important to understand that it has 4% emissivity. Now you may be asking yourself, what is emissivity? And that's a really good question. So with this next test, I want to show you exactly what emissivity is. If we were to take another scan of just the pan, we'll again see that it comes back at 149.5 degrees and then if we were to take our Ecofoil product and lay it directly on top of the pan and do a scan of the Ecofoil product that temperature will come back at 78.6 degrees. Now what this shows is that Ecofoil products will work if there is an air gap on at least one side of the product. If I were to take my hand and place it directly on top of the Ecofoil and sandwich it between the hot pan and my hand, a couple of things would happen. First, we would be going from radiant heat to conductive heat. And secondly, I would burn my hand as the air gap would be taken away. So it is not recommended to do such a thing. Now if you have any questions about this video or Ecofoil in general, please give us a call at 888-349 3645 or email us at customer service at ecofoil.com.